guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today, we're diving back into some more better Minecraft plots. Boy, do I have some plans for today. We are going to be adventuring into the nether. But of course, first of all, we have to get enough obsidian to one, make ourselves a nice little uh, enchanting table. And I should have enough books to set up at least a basic enchanting system, even though apotheosis is in here, which means you can actually enchant over level 30, which is probably going to mean we definitely need a significant mob farm at some point, which shouldn't be too hard to do if Endermen... Uh, Enderman may be the best way to go still in this pack. We'll see. An overworld mob farm may work as well. Um, but I do have a little bit of lava over here. I actually want to see if having this place down... Of course, I want to have it facing this direction once it all completes. There we go. We can have it placed like this. Um, I wonder, does the vein work on this? Does this... It should. I wonder how well this actually works. Or could I just use the hammer? <laughs> the hammer basically guarantees nine. Wow, it is really slow though. That's gonna take a while. I mean, it's almost there. It's 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 almost there. There we go. Yes. So it gave me ten. It's a little bit more than if I was to just use the hammer. Even though, yeah, I don't think the hammer would be any faster. This, however, this is pretty fast for just one. Uh, but we did get ten. I mean, that's basically all we need for the uh, the uh, the portal. But I'm gonna need a bit more. Uh, simply for everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the obsidian harvest up. I'm kind of excited to see what the nether has to offer because I know the nether supposedly is is different. There's going to be some big structures from what I've seen in the nether. And it'd be pretty cool to be able to find them. But I know traversing the nether early on is, is pretty difficult. Um, but being able to at least get some sort of footing there, like some glowstone, is going to be really helpful for our cave build. So I kind of have a little enchanting area set up. It's nothing super fancy yet, um, but this does for some reason allow me to enchant like my pickaxe and stuff with like Bane of Anthropods, like kind of weird. Uh, I'm not I, I'm not quite sure that you're supposed to be able to directly enchant Tetra tools, um, which is, yeah, something that's kind of off to me, but maybe it's something to try later on. I was going to show that this experience stuff right here, if you shift right click, or just right click with it, it basically gives you about a full level, as you can see here at level 30, at 29, it gave me almost an entire bar of experience. A lot of, lot of experience inside these little orbs. So keep that in mind, all of this experience that you mine up, it's well worth it to, to definitely keep on you. Now, I want to enchant some of my, my gear here, uh, mostly just my chest piece. And, wow, okay. We got uh, a higher level unbreaking. That's actually quite nice. I see thorns as well. Um, we can get a high, super high feather falling. Feather falling on, a, on leggings? And then protection four on, on this. Like, this is actually pretty nice. I got unlimited power. Nice. Let's put the, uh, the... I mean, feather falling is... Kind of nice. And another unbreaking. Wow. And then we have a cult aversion. Like, I definitely want protection on this stuff, but, like... This is not bad. Like, a cult aversion stuff's not bad. Icy thorns is kind of nice. I think that kind of gives slowness. I don't have enough to enchant this anymore, but feather fall? I don't even understand. Feather falling on a helmet? Like, does it actually work? Do we... Can I... I don't even know where I can take fall damage, honestly. I mean, if anything, I should be able to rip the enchants off of these things. Like, I'm going to keep it for right now, but... Still, very, very interesting, um, the enchanting system. Of course, later on, we're going to be able to enchant more and more. Let's go ahead and set up our portal, and I'm hoping with me setting it down here, 
It's not gonna be too horrible. I'm hoping that like, oh, I'm just, I'm hoping it doesn't put us underground. Um, and by the way, this is where our portal is gonna go, so I'm kind of decorating it a little bit. Um, I just hope that, like I said, this doesn't put us underground because I am pretty low to y, the the Y level, bottom or the lowest Y level. All we all we can do is test it, right? Let's go into, let's go into the Nether. And let's see what it has to offer. Okay. It looks good. This this looks promising. Oh, wow. We spawn on a tree. And this is actually quite promising. Yeah. This... That's horrifying sounding. But this is, uh... This is gonna work. I don't have any blocks on me. Like, extra blocks, but... Because I would like to actually get this kind of covered a little bit. Um, we definitely need to mark our location. So we can open up our map. And let's see. Do we have structures already showing up? Oh my gosh, we do. So add waypoint. That way we don't lose ourselves here. But if we go exploring, it looks like over here is a giant... Maybe that's a mine shaft that's sort of above ground. There's also something over here and definitely a fortress that way. Something weird like a boat. Is that another boat? That's over here. If that's what I think it is, those nether boats have netherite in them. Which is kind of insane. And I don't know if they have elytras. But that would also be even crazier. Like, really crazy. <laughs> Okay, um... Oh, this is the frog! Oh, shoot, these things are tameable. I forget what you can tame them with, but like... I don't believe they're hostile? Yeah, a warped toad from Alex's mobs. They're super adorable. Yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure you can tame them. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Already, I can tell. But at least this isn't, like, horrible terrain. Like, yeah, getting over here is not going to be super easy. I think we should just use, uh, go back and get some blocks. There's coal. Okay. Quartz. Oh, glowstone. Yeah, I, I need that. Also, I believe that's the upgraded armor from the nether. So there's, like, different tiers of the armor that we're wearing. This is in the overworld. Then there's the next tier, which is the nether. And then there's a tier that's in the end. So, and that tier is going to be even better, of course. Ooh. There's a chest right there. I wonder if that... Ooh, there's a chest there, too. Are these chests going to be worth it? Like, is this going to be worth... Going down there for? Or am I risking... Am I being risky right now? Hmm... Kind of risque. I don't know what to expect from this. I don't have any good way of actually getting down there, to be honest. Unless we tunnel down. Tunnel down we go. At least this pick is good for this. We are super close. Okay. Let's scoot over here to it. This is soul bricks. Should I be worried? <laughs> I don't know. I'm definitely afraid that this is trapped. What if it was observer trapped? What is in here? Okay, horse armor. You know, I'm going to take everything. That's coal. Doesn't seem horrible. Here. There's another one right there. I mean, I can just go ahead and grab all this loot from here and see... It doesn't seem like much is going on. There's an entryway. I'm just super... I'm super scared because I don't know what this is even from. Oh, I guess it's from the, uh... The Stalwart Dungeons mod? 100% that's what it's from. Built out of blocks from it. Here's another spooky... Spooky chest. Not a whole lot in here, but what is in here is nice. We got nether warts. That actually saves us from even like having to go to a fortress to get uh, fires. So what's what's hitting us? 
What was that? What was that? I am so skittish, and I don't even know why I'm skittish. What in the world is this? Like, what? what is this supposed to be? I'm gonna hop down here. I'm gonna grab what's in this one. Oh yeah, even more goodies. Insta health potions. I mean, I think I've kind of hit the jackpot here with just being able to get nether wart. Um, now the only other thing we need is like blaze, right? Like once we get some blaze, we should be good. Those look like saw blades. Like, what am I, what am I doing here? <laughs> am I supposed to be up top or able to get this stuff? I feel like probably not. I feel like there was supposed to be a chest here. Definitely broke that chest. There is one more chest down here. I don't have a clue what this... Oh! That guy's not, not friendly. Okay, I know what I know what this is now. I remember this mod. Okay. Yep. I believe stepping on these blocks... Yeah, th those hurt. Those hurt a little bit. I don't want to mess with that guy because that guy will rock my world. I have armor on, but I don't have the resistance for that guy. We got to get out of here. What am I looking at? Whoa! Bruh. Don't do that. What in the world? Or what in the demon? <laughs> what in the demon is that? <laughs> Oh, the new, all these like weird mobs and stuff that you see in the, in the, the random mod packs I play. Oh, it just, it's just something else every time. Every time I'm like, what in the world is this? <laughs> hey buddy, at least, at, least, at least this guy's friendly. So apparently if I keep going in this direction away from the portal, I'm just looking, this boat or what looks like a, like a boat is off in this direction. Like I really want to at least get an eye on it. It doesn't seem like it's horribly far away. Like I might have to climb up top here. Cause it's probably where it's located. It's up top. Oh, it's super scary when you're going up. Let's clear off our inventory here. Super scary going up by the way. Cause lava pulls. What is that? That was a weird looking block. Hopefully I can stop <laughs> in time if that's the case. But yeah, I, I believe we should be able to make our way up to the next level up here. After mining all the way up there uh, and hitting bedrock, I realized, yeah, there's, I don't think there's another floor. Like we just have to go around. <laughs> sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes it happens. So I am going around, kind of keeping an eye on this thing because I don't want any more of those, uh, I don't even know what they're called. Like other, I, I don't even know. I, I I don't know. I'm after a boat, which is should be right in front of me. It should be right up here somewhere. I'm also keeping an eye out for other enemies that I like. This guy. What are you doing? What are you? Oh, explodes. Of course it does. Why would it not explode? He throws exploding blue things. Bags of candy. Just, they're bags of candy, I'm sure. Alright, let's let's see. Boat, you should literally be right here. I, um, huh. Unless you're above bedrock? No, it wouldn't be above bedrock. Would it? No way. It's, pro it's just gotta be like really high up. Somewhere. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I went all this way. Like, it it should be right over here. I'm going to jump. Do some maneuvers. If I can't get a better view of it. Maybe it's down in the ground? Ooh, over here. Might as well grab that cobalt. Ah, it's right there. Ooh, we need to get up there. I might be able to tower up. Or slime sling up. Oh, I know this is going to make some people super nervous. 
me slime slinging in the nether. Okay. We're here. What can... I think, by the way, I think these... Provide fire resistance, but they give you poison. Yeah, that's not good. I think, though... Later on, they could be made into... Oh, they still give you poison. Oof. No, I don't know. Oh, thank you. I can't even throw it out of my inventory now. Wasn't it, like, right here? Yeah, it's, like, right in front of me. Oh. There's got to be spawners on this. There's got to be. Right? I hear something. Oh no. It's got trees they grew up in it. There's gotta be something in here though. So no like elytra thing. But we do have chests. With netherite ingots. That's a netherite ingot. Tons of gold. Okay. I don't know what that noise is, but it is awful sounding. I'm going to take the gold. There was also another chest that was up top. I don't think normally that, like, it's covered with this stuff. Ooh, fire resistant potions. That is a nasty sound. Is there anything on the front? Oh, there's this thing. Oh, he doesn't look like he's going to harm me. At least I don't think so. All right, there's a chest here. Yes, with some goodies in it. I will take, but also take the gold. <laughs> and there was a netherite ingot in that bad boy. Now, is there anything else? I'm probably going to take a look. Just to verify, make sure there's nothing else here. Like maybe there's some hidden netherite in the ship itself that I'm missing. Take a look. Ooh, I like these, these blocks here. So there was a hidden chest. Right here, right beside it. I don't know the significance of this chest. Make sure there's nothing else. This one's has spectral arrows and more iron. Interesting. But hey, man, I can't complain. He got a netherite ingot for basically free. I knew there was going to be something like that here. Now that we have that fire resist potion, like we should definitely get ourselves over to that fortress and at least get ourselves some blaze rods and hopefully some glowstone as well. I hope these are, are these friendlies? Warp beetles. They look like friendlies. Is missing an eye? Oh wait, is that your eye? Where's your eye, dude? Oh my gosh, they are. That's kind of creepy looking. All right, don't look into its eyes. Uh, this dimension, or this area, this biome, really cool, by the way. But, uh, if you want quartz, all of this can be turned into quartz, I believe. Man, that's the glowstone. There's glowstone there. Everywhere I go, I'm missing glow. I just don't have glowstone. I think this way is going to lead me to that. Or am I going the opposite direction? I am going the absolute opposite direction, I believe. Ow, this is going to kill me. Yep, we got to go this way. All the way this way to get to that. By the way, if you're worried about me getting lost, I do have a waystone in my inventory. So once we get to the fortress, I'll be able to definitely place a waystone down. And that'll make life a little bit easier. I'm going to gather some of the red geodes while I'm here. I'm definitely going to mine up some of the cobalt ore while I'm here as well. Ooh, that's, that's some nice stuff. Right there. That looks like it's going to be our best way of getting in there. Is to probably go right through that part there. Also, this stuff is amazing. Look at all the bone. Oh yeah, any farm. Like, this hanging stuff. That's just stacks of bones. Like, that's the best thing ever right here. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and swig this bad boy. And get prepared for battle. Using my shurikens of justice. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a bad boy right there. How many of these does it take? And is it... Oh, that's actually really nice. That does a really good job. 
Just have to keep my eyes peeled, and hopefully we can find more than a few chests. What was that? Schematic. Huh, that's from Tetra. Schematic incinerate, or wait, in, um, in, what is it? I'm such a dork, it's intricate. <laughs> so it's an intricate schematic. Um, unlocks additional crafting schematics nearby workbenches. Interesting. Like, that's all stuff from Tetra that I, I'm still learning. Like, I'm still new to Tetra myself. So learning these things are pretty cool, but... I've got to do some adventuring. We've got to definitely find some blaze in here. I'm not really worried about getting lost in this. I should easily be able to find my way out. You know, before long. Oh, there's tons of nether wart. Ah, and here's our central central area. So this is probably one of the better places to place the portal. Right in the center area, center most area. We'll see. I don't have a whole lot of this left. These are technically only three minutes long. So we definitely got to get that blaze. Blaze rod before long. There's another one. And diamond. Oh, we got an eight minute one. Oh, so we got a little bit, little bit more time down here. So I have found a blaze spawner. I'm going to go ahead and drink this. And let's see how well these shurikens actually do. Like unbreakable shurikens. Like that's not bad. Like they just tear through anything you throw at it there we go into fire the knockback on this is so good i love this shuriken like for what it is so i went ahead and placed down our waystone and as you can see it does cost levels to travel back home um but that's not super bad considering i mean the ability to be able to travel like this is so nice um now i can go back into the nether i still have to go get a few things there's still some things on my list to grab, like, uh, let's see, glowstone. Like, glowstone is probably one of my, my major things I also need to get. Also, um, there was a blaze that spawned out of the spawner that was a soul blaze, apparently, that you can use to make some of this really cool weaponry. I'm kind of digging that. What is it? It gives wither one, breaks gra grass faster. This could be used to make a harp. What? Oh, sound depends on your head rotation. Oh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to head back. Ooh, look at that fortune. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to head back, make sure I have enough building blocks to be able to build up. I'm going to have to build up and get myself some, uh, some more of that glowstone. You know, believe it or not, there was some actually right above the portal. How convenient. So all I had to do is just go up a little bit. So with me being back, our inventory situation is getting a little, a little out of control. So that's hopefully something that we can fix soon. But now that I'm able to make the feral flare lanterns, oh, things are starting to get good. We're going to be able to light this bad boy up and make it look so much better without the need of all these torches. And I mean, like, like lighting up areas that you'd probably like just have hidden. So like over here, I can place it, place one here and lights are just going to start getting placed everywhere, including like under the water. I believe they get placed underwater. Um, and so I'm going to kind of light up some of these back areas. Look at the lights already start to place. Oh, it's so cool when you watch, watch that happen. I'm also going to need to break all the torches so it knows where to place the lights. But once I get these back areas lit up. This underground area is really going to start to take off and look really good. So after getting some of the lanterns placed in here, it's looking a lot nicer as far as the lights go. Um, things are a lot more visible and the reflections off the water look really good. Now, what's going to make this blossom is when we get trees and other vegetation in here, like leaves. I've already put some leaves in here, but once we get like grass and leaves and some other things like that in here, it's going to really start looking great. Um, but that's going to take a little bit. I think next episode we're going to work on the storage network, getting ourselves some storage set up because right now our storage is a mess. It is an absolute mess. Um, and so getting a nice little storage area is going to be very, very helpful. And then we can start diving into some more things like maybe some more Tetra, maybe some create because creates in here. I would love to get some automation set up with create and, uh, get some maybe like concrete automation set up or any kind of cool stuff like that. But anyways, 
I think it's about time to thank the sponsor of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go to Chroma. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on Patreon. And guys, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, of course, you can find that link down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a huge thumbs up. We are so close to 60 or we're so close to 460,000 subscribers getting so close to the 500,000 milestones. Absolutely insane. I can't believe we're even at this point. I, I couldn't believe the, when we even hit 100,000. So guys, I just want to say a huge thanks. And of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.